I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, so let's focus on verses 4 and 5. In fact, when we were with you, we told you previously that we were going to suffer persecution, and as you know, it happened. For this reason, when I could no longer stand it, I also sent to find out about your faith, fearing that the tempter had tempted you, and that our labor might be for nothing. 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 4 and 5. Reggie had no reason to be running college cross-country, and I argued with him all the way to the sign-up table. And still he signed his name on the walk-on list and then turned away. In high school, Reggie and I had been track and field competitors, and I had obtained a scholarship while all the colleges had passed him up. And even though he hadn't worked out in almost a year, he'd observed my previous track season with envy. You know, envy is pride, wounded in competition. And the bottom line is that he thought that he could beat me and earn a place on the team. And you know, I really wanted Reggie to succeed. I thought he had more raw talent than me, but he lacked the drive to win. So like I said, I tried to talk him out of it. I told him that running at the college level was not like high school, It was a lot harder than it looked. And then the day arrived for our first practice. The coach blew the whistle and off we went. You know, the first week's practices uh, in college are always more difficult and they're kind of designed to weed out the weaker runners and the walk-ons who maybe shouldn't be there. And so five miles later, I returned back to the starting point with the front of the pack, my team. And then I stood by the coach until everyone crossed the line, no Reggie. The guy said he had fallen back and was uh, examining his lunch, right? Yawning in Technicolor somewhere back on the trail. And then he never came back. I've met a lot of young people who could have been successful in ministry, but nobody told them that it would be so hard. Others were told, but they just wouldn't listen. And maybe you're getting tired of hearing me say it. But living for the Lord can be tough. You can expect it. Jesus promised it. You can, if you can expect to succeed on raw talent, then you're just fooling yourself. God has designed us to run on a combination of His Spirit, talent which He has given us, and discipline which we need to muster. More than just warning you, I have determined to train alongside you. That's why we have the daily Bible emails that you get in the podcasts. And hopefully you find these emails more inspirational than desperational. That's my word, by the way. And I pray that you will endure the discipline to obtain the prize. Paul not only was suffering persecution, but he was very concerned that those who had signed up with him were never going to make it through the workout. And so what is he doing? He's doubling back and he's going back to make sure that they're okay. Let's make sure we're okay out there. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Check us out at groundworksministries.com.